I started a new channel. I just wanted to show y'all what it looks like. Um, and yeah, so I hope you all enjoy it. Welcome back to Bean Dreams, where I talk about my dreams and that I had the night before. This one's gonna be a little bit different. Um, this one's gonna be kind of a mix of uh, a dream I had and then uh, just kind of talk about a little bit what's going on in my life. And then we can talk about the weird dream that I had after that that was just kind of silly. So lately, for those who, who don't know, I guess, um, I am a Christian. Uh, so I, I have been praying about stuff in my life. Um, just job-wise, uh, I really love my job now, but I really want to be able to move to a different state and the state that I want to move to is just it's not really for what I do in my career uh, it, it's not really feasible to live um, just money wise if I even could find a job uh, in my career down there and um I have lived in that state before. I have, I have a lot of friends down there, and it it was something that I know when I was leaving out of there, that it was like God was like, "Hey, I'm promising you're coming back," um, and it was like, "Okay, cool." And so like I feel like I've been trying to get there and trying to get there and trying to get there, um, and I've just been praying about it and praying about it and praying about it, uh, and I started my other channel. Uh, about a year ago now? Yeah. Whew. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's weird to think about. Um, didn't have any dreams about it. Didn't have other stuff. And, and I've had dreams in the past about stuff that's coming. Kind of prophetic type stuff, I guess you would call it. Uh, and I just didn't get any dreams about it. Even though I was, <clears throat> excuse me, even though I was praying about it. Um, and I know I, like, just started this channel, but I just had, like, there was a bunch of silly dreams that was going on, and then, which I'll get into later, and then it was, like, there was this one, where it was just, like, I just could, like, see this channel specifically just kind of growing and growing. I just remember it hitting, like, 700, then it, like, jumped to a 1,000 pretty much, and then... I just kept going and I was like oh my goodness like I can maybe I can maybe make this as a job or a part-time job or whatever and it was just one of those ones where I don't know it was just like God was just like uh, like you know something something is coming and you're gonna be okay it was just one of those things like I was actually like in the bathroom like getting ready to take a shower and it was just like I just kind of like stopped and I was just like praying about it and I was like you know that dream that I had last night um so that was weird god <laughs> um it, and I was just praying like you know it you know if you're trying to tell me like yes that this is what's gonna happen or that I'm just gonna be okay or you know maybe something with YouTube or maybe you know, some online job or something's gonna come through to where you're gonna be able to move to that state. Like, I like I need a yes, like I can't just, you know, I don't wanna go off dreams cause it's, it was one of those ones where it was just like a snippet. So I was like, I don't know if this is you or if this is my brain. And as my ADD brain does, it just kept rambling over these words. And it was, it was like, I don't even know how to describe it but you know when someone like covers your mouth to like shush you it, it was like it was like that but like my brain <laughs> I for anyone who hasn't experienced this this is gonna sound just bonkers like it just I don't even know how to, as an ADD person my brain is always going 24 7 like have to give it something to think about when it's trying to go to sleep or have to do this or have to do that and it was just like 
it was like I couldn't even think thought. And it wasn't like a it wasn't like a rude shushing, like someone just aggressively just kind of like covers your mouth to tell you, you know, just shut up and be quiet. It's like it's like when you're like kind of like if you're like having anxiety or something like that and someone kind of like you're rambling or something like that and someone just kind of covers your mouth and it's just like dude just breathe it's okay just breathe you're gonna be okay it's gonna be fine i i am here for you and we are gonna go through this and i mean that's that's what it was and i was like Whew. that was that was intense okay <laughs> now for the silly part of the dream <sighs> okay <laughs> i don't even know where to start after that one. Oh my goodness um so the first thing i remember in this silly dream was it was like it was like in this shower almost, but it was a, uh, it was like a, the, the base of it was like a bed, so you could like, but it was like an air mattress almost, so like the base would come up, and then the base would lower, and then the base would come up, and I remember, <laughs> it's so weird, I remember Hulk Hogan like freaking jumping up and like, slamming into the shower base as like the air mattress part was up and I was just like bro didn't that hurt isn't that like acrylic and he's like he's like no he's like it's a bed and I was like okay so I jump I jump onto it and I was like oh man this is actually like really soft <laughs> and we're like just messing around um <laughs> Like, he keeps getting off, and then, like, he jumped on top of me by accident once, and he's like, oops, sorry, <laughs> like, uh. And, oh. So, as we're, like, as we're, like, jumping onto this shower base bed type thing and jumping off of it, the freaking Undertaker shows up, and is like, what the heck are you guys doing? And we're like, of course, I'm like... Wait, what do you call it? Star, star, shot, star, 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 something. Star, star, or something. I don't know. Star, starstruck, starstruck. Maybe. I don't know. Anyhow, I'm like, whoa, basically. And Hulk Hogan, obviously, you know, he's just like, oh yeah, no, it's it, it's 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 a bed. It, it's not actually like a shower base type thing, so we're just jumping on it. It's cool, and yeah. And since I, and since I'm seeing Hulk Hogan be like super, you know, chill and like tight with the Undertaker, I'm like big brain moment. I'm gonna go convince Hulk Hogan to let um, me be one of like Undertaker's like lantern people, <laughs> lantern people like into the ring. So I'm just like, you know, to create the spooky atmosphere, I'm like, dude, you, like, like, I'm like one of Undertaker's, like, biggest fans, like, you gotta, you gotta let me, like, you know, I can you know, I gotta, I gotta get an up-close view of, like, freaking going into the stadium and, like, watching this dude wrestle and everything else. Hulk Hogan ends up convincing him, and it is, like... Like, those Spongebob scenes where Squidward's like, hey, this is, like, super important. You have to be on your best behavior. And Spongebob and Patrick are, like, <laughs> like laughing in the background because they're so excited to do this, like, super important thing when they're actually supposed to be, you know, like, stone-faced and, you know, whatever. That was me going into the ring. I'm literally holding the lantern, like, up near, like, my face so I no one can see me laughing. I am just giggling and just so excited and like I was probably honestly walking into that arena like on my tippy toes like a little fairy princess or something instead of you know scary lantern lady and yeah that was that was it just random Jesus moment and freaking 
Hulk Hogan jumping in shower bases and me being Undertaker's, you know, lantern lady. <laughs> Uh, anyhow, if you want to check out my animations, I'll link that at the end. And yeah, see y'all later. Bye!